Here we go with a quick uh, look at how to post auctions and get the most out of the auction house. This is my little uh, my uh, blood elf money maker. My little babe here is uh, just uh, <laughs> brings in the gold. Uh, she's sitting in Thunder Bluff. I found that's uh, for me that's uh, my most comfortable place to do auctions on the horde side. Uh, you folks on the ally side, uh, what you're looking for for your for your money maker, your banker, uh, you want to be parked in a place where it's it's your it's easy to get to the the things that you'll use the most, which of course are the bank, auction house, and the mailbox. Uh, and also, if you're using my technique for gold making, you also want to be close to the um, the uh, professions uh, vendors. You know, specifically the professions that you use the most, you want to be close to them. But mainly the, the auction house, bank, and mailbox. You want to be able, to, don't want to have to run around to those places. Uh, so here she is, my little babe, and we're uh, right next to the the auctioneer in Thunder Bluff. Uh, before I get started here, I should point out uh, somebody, somebody saw one of my videos from a couple months ago and noticed that I was that this character was was had less than two thousand gold on her and said he was he, with a smiley face. He said, "Hey, if you're such a gold maker, how come you only you have less than two thousand gold in the in your bags?" Uh, well, that's because I buy stuff. Uh, uh, a couple months ago, this character, the the my my blood elf, the money maker sent 17,000 gold to the main character so that the main character character could buy that uh, Traveler's Tundra Mammoth, you know, which, which so that you can carry vendors and two other players with you, and, and that Traveler's Tundra cost 17,000 gold. Uh, so now, here it is, less than two months later, and she's back up to almost 15,000 again, and that's with very little effort. Uh, if I were actually working at it and really focused on gold making, uh, without too much trouble, I can make a couple thousand gold a day. <clears throat> um, but just just doing her her daily routine, she makes about a couple thousand gold a week. Uh, just by I, I just check into this character for maybe ten minutes a day, and then you know she posts some auctions, does a little bit of shopping, and then I go on my business with my main character or uh, working out other stuff. Uh, so it's just just uh, kind of in idle, she's making around 1500 to 2000 gold a week uh, you can see she's got a boatload of very vi valuable items here mostly enchanting mats and the way that I get so much uh, valuable stuff that I just have parked here in my bags is in my guide that that is my trick my my secret technique that's really not all that uh, secret but it was explained in my guide so I'm gonna ask you to spend 1495 to find out just how I get so loaded I mean I'm just sitting on easily four or five thousand gold worth of, uh, of materials just sitting in my bags uh, but let's uh, turn around here and uh, pay a visit to the auctioneer what I'm going to show you the the uh, like I said the uh, the technique to get so much really wonderful valuable materials that you can sell that's in the, in the guide but I just want to uh, give a, a quick tip on how to post auctions you may th most people uh, I'm surprised don't do a couple of simple things to in, uh, improve their auction success and one of those things is every time you post an auction and without fail I do this every single time you post an auction check what else is up there in the the other auctions for that same item and there's a simple way to do this let's uh, just start with crystallized water if you press down the shift key now of course uh, uh, ah, one more thing before we get started if you must have auctioneer uh, auctioneer and enchantrix it's it's it is so important it's uh, it's just this simple if you have auctioneer with enchantrix you make more gold like by double if that's what you'd make without it so much information and, and one of the things that you get is when you press the shift key while you're ho hovering over an item so you can see a, a bunch more information opens up but the reason I'm doing this I've got the auction window open and I'm on the browse tab uh, rather than trying to type in the name of the item you're searching for and you, you risk misspelling it or putting in too many L's or you know things like that, if you ho hover over the item, press down shift and then left click, look at that, puts the name of that item exactly correctly spelled into the search field. Then do a search on that item and there are two things that we're looking for. Now again, here's why, why auctioneer is so important. It will give you a percentage of the normal rate, the average rate for what that item is going for over the past few days. Auctioneer 
will well, you, uh, you, you run the updates and it continually uh, keeps a database of what these items are going for the average rate so up here at the top you have it uh, I have it sorted by percentage of the average rate so these items up here we're showing are going pretty cheap they're at 41 percent of the usual rate now in order to sort these items so that you because you know you look over here on the on the item name listing some of the, the the one there at the top is that's eight of them and then you have an auction for one then you have an auction for nine and we have a whole bunch of auctions for one at a time we come down here well some somebody selling a lot of auctions one at a time here we have them for five at a time you want to be able to, to compare prices on the same number of items that makes it so that you don't have to keep going back and forth doing math in your head so another thing that auctioneer provides you is a way to to show the stacks as price per unit so I click that now I'm looking at the same price for the same amount it's every price over here is for one of that item now this is that will do two things for you for one if you want to post auctions you can look up here and see well there's an awful lot of folks who are selling this item for for a pretty good price so maybe now it's not a good time to sell that item it also was a time to do some shopping. Some folks may be posting them for such a low rate that it's a, a time to go ahead and buy that item out and then resell it. Just that simple. I mean, buy low, sell high. Uh, the, also, uh, I use materials. I use um, uh, cloth a lot because it's a tailor character. So I'm going to do shopping for nether weave cloth. Again, I just shift left clicked and put that put nether weave cloth up there in the search field. Here's another trick you can do. I, guess I still have it uh, sorted by price per unit. So I'm, I'm looking at the exact same, you know, over here we've got some that are for five uh, pieces of netherweave cloth, complete stacks of 20, 10, but I'm looking at the same, each price over here is for one piece, for that auction at one piece of the cloth. So all of these prices are for the same amount of the item. Now, now what I'm looking for, here's another quick trick, is you're looking for low bid price so starting bid prices and high buy it now prices all right so that's just this one right here is a starting bid of 12 and a buy it now price of 20 sometimes they're, they're even better deals than that so we'll scroll down here and see if we can find well, I don't find much more better than that the idea is see a lot most people when they're buying uh, uh, these uh, trade goods they, just, they want to just buy some stuff make their pro their item or whatever and get on with their day they're not interested in the starting the starting bid so 12 for a starting bid go ahead and bid that now a lot of times you won't get it because other people can come along and say hey somebody's gonna get this for an awful cheap price in fact sometimes the person posting the auction will see that you you might win that for a very low starting bid price and they'll cancel the auction but other times, you know, maybe one time out of four, you'll get the item for that low starting bid, and what a deal, you know. Uh, let's see how what the, the prices are on Frostweave Cloth. Shift, left click, that put Frostweave Cloth up here into the search field, do a quick search. And uh, man, Frostweave is going for some good prices. Uh, I use Frostweave, I don't, I don't buy it to resell it, I buy it to use it. So in a normal day I'd be going to, I'd be buying up a bunch of frost reef because it's uh, it's th th these are good prices right now I'm not going to do that because I don't want to spend too much of your time on this video but again let's scroll down here and see if we have some low starting bids high buy it now prices uh, well, it looks like these folks are pretty smart at uh, the, the the smart auction if you're smart you put a uh, a starting bid that's fairly close you know you want a decent price it's fairly close to your buy it now price. Uh, here's this a perfect example right here. See this the buy it now price is 58 each, but the starting bid is only 18. So we're gonna put in a bid. We're gonna bid at the starting bid price of 18 silver per frostweed cloth. So the the actual auction price is three gold and 65 for a full stack of frostweave. Uh, if that person sees that I'm getting that really good price, then uh, uh, they may come back and cancel the auction or, or somebody else will come along and say oh look at that uh, great bargain that's what you're looking for those a real low starting bid with a high buy it now price just a quick uh, look at how to, to make the most of your auctions and how to find bargains here's wishing you lots of great kills and great loots